in the news recently, you know, Bob Iger, Kevin Feige, Disney, Marvel Studios in general, they're, they're talking a lot about how, hey, you know what? We feel like the TV shows, they've diluted our product. We feel like the Marvel Cinematic Universe is not as, you know, as beloved as it once was because we put out all this product. We think our quality has dropped. And we're going to start pulling back on that. We're going to start releasing less shows and less this and less that and taking gaps and, and, and you know, spreading things out. And they're going back to a model that they that they did with phase one through three that worked so well for them. Uh, Bob Chapek, of course, is is uh, out as CEO. He's one of the reasons why they had to pump out so much content. Now that Bob Iger is back, they're going to pull back, they said. So with that in mind, I thought it would be kind of interesting. You know, there's still a lot of upcoming projects that Marvel has listed on their release schedule that I thought it'd be fun to kind of go through a couple of them. And see which ones we think will actually happen and which ones may not. So how we're going to do this is I'm going to give a percentage of how much I believe a show is going to get canceled or not. And we're going to start this off with uh, Echo. And Echo is an interesting one because Echo is a character from Hawkeye. Honestly, I thought the actress was was pretty good in the role. And I didn't, I didn't hate her performance. But the character was kind of underwritten and it wasn't a very interesting character within the Hawkeye show that when she got announced as getting her own show, her spinoff show, I always kind of had that question of like, but why? Why Echo? Why did you choose this character to spend all this money on to make this show? Now, maybe she's a fantastic character and they'll make her fantastic in the show. But then you started hearing all these rumors and rumblings and all this stuff coming out of insiders saying, Echo's not very good. You know, like, oh, they crapped the bed with this one. And uh, there was even a report that came out that said, Echo, they're just going to drop it all on Disney Plus all at once. You know, hopefully, hopefully by dropping it all at once, people will binge watch it, hate it for two days and then forget all about it and stop talking about it. You know, that that's what that kind of signified to a lot of people, myself included, when they said that they were going to drop Echo all at once. So with all that in mind, now the show is shot. The show has been shooting for a while. I'm pretty sure they finished shooting the show. So I think for Echo, personally, I'm going to give this a 25% chance that it gets canceled. I think because they, they got so far along into it, because they've already put the money into it, because they've got all of it, if not a majority of it shot, I, I, I think this show is still going to air. I think we're still going to get Echo. Uh, moving on, we got Ironheart. And Ironheart is interesting. Because Ironheart got introduced to us in uh, Wakanda Forever, and I loved Wakanda Forever, and I thought that she was she was decent in Wakanda Forever, but I I didn't I didn't find that the audience loved her. You know, I didn't f- hear a lot of people talking about Ironheart by the end of the movie on Twitter on the social medias, and first I, I hated her suit. Can we just get that out of the way? I hate. I hate the look of this suit. I hated it in Wakanda Forever. I hate looking at the image of it right now. Um, didn't hate the character, but don't like her suit. And this is another one that, you know, it was shooting for a little bit. We got some uh, pics on set a long while back. I'm not quite sure what the progress on this show really is, to be honest with you. But because the character didn't really pop in the pop culture with the MCU fans, because they've been kind of quiet on it, we haven't heard too much coming out of it. Um, yeah, I'm going to give, uh, I'm going to give Ironheart a 35% chance that it gets canceled. I still think that it's going to come out. I think they're going to complete it, but I also wouldn't fall out of my seat if they came out and said, we've decided not to move forward with Ironheart. So that's my uh, prediction for that. Then we got Agatha, uh, chaos. No, it's not, uh, that anymore. It's not coming into chaos. It's like, uh, the Darkhold Diaries now. Agatha, the Darkhold Diaries. Now, this was a character that actually did pop quite a bit from WandaVision. Uh, they've been shooting this show for a while now. There's been a lot of um, releases about it. They've changed the title a bunch of times. We've seen some set photos from it. I think this production has been going pretty smoothly. I think they're probably uh, pretty deep into it. I'm going to give this a 20% chance. That it gets canceled. I think this is going to come out. I don't think that this is one's going to get canceled. I think this one's pretty safe, to be honest with you. Now, this is um, this is an interesting one. Daredevil, Born Again. Now, this is the latest in the news um, because, as we know, and we talked about this on Members Talk Live. That episode is up now if you want to 
get more deep uh, thoughts from me and, my, and the members on it. But uh, Marvel scrapped already the the progress done on this show. All the set photos that we've seen from this, all the all the progress that we've seen on Daredevil: Born Again, all of it scrapped. Uh, they're moving on from it. They're moving on. They're, they fired their writers. They fired their directors. They're going back to the drawing board. Now, listen, that is going to make this this show even more expensive than it than it even was before. Um, I think they might be having trouble figuring out a way to get this Daredevil from Netflix into the MCU and, and keep the continuity but not attach it to the Netflix show. Maybe they do want to attach it to the Netflix show. I think there's a lot of confusion with this show. I think they're not fully sure what they want to do with this show now that they've canceled the entire script and gotten rid of the original writers because they looked at the scripts. They looked at, they looked at what they were going to be shooting. Kevin Feige approved it. The fact that he went back on that and canceled it um, and told them – Go get different writers and write something better. I think there is a chance that this doesn't happen at all. I think there's a chance that the show gets completely canceled. But I'm not going to go very high. I'm, I'm going to go 30%. I'm going to go 30% that this show um, gets canceled. I don't think it will get canceled. But if it did, once again, much, much like Ironheart, I wouldn't be shocked if we didn't see it come out. Spider-Man Freshman Year. This one has always been really interesting to me. This, one, this is a puzzling one to me because... They they announced this years back, and there has been, like, zip on it. We have not heard very much of this come out. We have not heard much of what's going on with this show. Um, even the, the character stuff that they released and the synopsis was kind of weird because it's supposed to be Tom Holland's origin story in the MCU told in an animated show, but they've got Harry Osborn in there. They got Daredevil in there from the character designs that they were showing us. Tom Holland, when we meet him in the, in the MCU, has already been Spider-Man for six months. So is this only going to cover six months um, <laughs> in, in the entire show? Um, this one has always been a puzzle piece to me. This one has always been something that didn't make very much sense to me. So I'm going to go as high as 45% that this gets canceled. I'm going to go as high as 45% that this doesn't move forward with. And I'm... Not sure how it works. They might still need Sony's approval for some of the stuff they want to do with this. So, yeah, the fact that we haven't heard very much from it and the fact that it's kind of confusing with how they're describing what the show is, I'm I'm going to go that high with it. Marvel Zombies. Another one that's interesting because they announced it years ago and I feel like we haven't heard anything about it like at all. And it's a it's it's a concept that I don't know if it's sustainable. To be honest with you. And I don't know much about Marvel Zombies in general. So I'm not going to spend too much time on this one. I'm going to go as high as uh, 60%. I'm going to go as high as 60% that this guy. I, I, I think that this one's not going to come out. I think they're going to decide to to shelve this one. But, you know, who knows? Maybe I'll be wrong. Maybe I'll be happy that I'm wrong. The Wakanda series. The untitled Wakanda series that was announced. That Ryan Coogler was supposed to be working on for Disney+. Plus. This is another one that was announced a while back. And we've gotten zip about it we haven't heard anything about it ryan coogler hasn't talked about it um i think after you know wakanda forever and after black panther and the successes of those i think ryan coogler may not move forward with this i feel like marvel might not move forward with this without ryan coogler you know what i'm gonna i'm gonna give this a high one i'm gonna i'm gonna go 90 percent. i think uh I think this one isn't going to happen. I think this one has probably already been shelved or canned. So, yeah, I'm sticking with it. I'm going 90% that that show never happens. Vision Quest. Remember this one, guys? Now, this is different because this one was never officially announced by Marvel Studios. This came out in the trades, Variety, and Hollywood Reporter, and all that stuff. And this was supposed to follow Vision after WandaVision. Now, I, I don't think that... Vision is necessarily a character that can lead a show. I think he worked great as a secondary character in the movies and in WandaVision. I think he worked great with Wanda. I don't know how much I'm interested. I don't know how much Marvel is interested in telling a story of Vision on his own. I think that they've also talked about how, you know, some of the writers that was that would that were supposed to be on this show they had Vision Quest on their resumes. They've taken Vision Quest off their resumes. There was that story that went around a little while ago. Um, I'm going to go as high as 95%. I think this is dead. I think this is already dead in the water. I think uh, Vision Quest was a non-starter. I don't think we're going to see this come out. Um, and lastly, we got this show, uh, Wonder Man. Wonder Man, a new character 
Uh, it's supposed to be on Disney Plus. I don't know anything about this character, um, to be honest with you. So I don't really have much to add to the characterization or what the story could be or anything like that. What I will say though is Disney Plus has generally been a place where they have launched new characters. You know, Ms. Marvel, Moon Knight, Photon was, or if that's gonna be, if Monica Rambeau is gonna be called Photon, was launched on Disney Plus. Uh, she Hulk was launched. I think Disney Plus. I think they're still gonna want to launch new characters on. Disney Plus. I'm going to go 40%. I'm going to say 40% of this gets canceled. I, I don't think it will. I think they will want to introduce this character on Disney Plus still. But I also think there's a chance that they'll pull the plug on that and want to introduce it in a movie like they've generally done in the past. And with that, guys, that is my little predictions, my little guessing speculation of what upcoming Marvel shows may end up getting canceled with this new direction that marvel and disney want to go in but now the question goes to you guys what do you guys think of this which shows which upcoming shows do you think are going to get canceled i didn't include like miss marvel season two or she hulk season two because that would just make the video way too long but if you want to include those go on down in the comment section below and let me know all your thoughts and opinions i'd love to hear them